Welcome back. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for a post bag. The first one, it says adapter board. And these are some adapter boards breaking out the micro USB pins to, I believe these are 2.54 millimeter headers. And it's for me an easy way to quickly prototype. Oops, there goes the focus. And that's for me an easy way to prototype something with a micro USB connector on it. Next one, a hidden description. Let me feel where it's safe to open this. And these are capacitors. They're 100 nanofarads and 47 nanofarads. And I believe if I look at this like this, these are 0603. These are, well, the 100 nanofarads uh, I use on a lot of boards, mainly for decoupling. And the 47 nanofarads, those are on the UPI programmer. Next one, it says diodes. Well, those are clearly not diodes. These are capacitors, ceramic capacitors. Um, 47 picofarads and 18 picofarads. And again, I ordered these for the UDPI programmer, um, but of course the through hole version of it. Next one, again, a hidden description. Resistors, and these are 27 ohm resistors. At least that's what written on the package. And uh, yeah, I can't read color code, so I, uh, I'll have to believe it. And again, these are for the UPDI programmer, the through hole version. Next one, it says jewelry, ju I can't pronounce that word. Next one, it says jewelry findings and components. No, oh, that's not open at all. Try it again. And, well, that doesn't make any sense. It's a package within a package. I'm afraid to turn this over because if I look at it from this way, there is still my address and things on it. So I'll just open it with the label down. If there's another package in here, it's not funny anymore. It's not. And the description on this one is kind of accurate. They are jewelry type things. Let me get them out. These are some brass wires and I ordered two sizes. One of them is one millimeter and the other one is 0.8 millimeters. And I follow a guy on YouTube. He's called Yuri Paus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, he makes beautiful things with brass wire and LEDs and coin cell batteries. And not that I want to copy him, but I had some ideas and thought I'd, in my free time, would be able to make some nice gifts for people. So I ordered some of that brass wire he uses. And I'm not thinking I'm going to get close to the things he does, but I did want to give it a try. So that's why I ordered these. Next one. Oh no, I'm ruining my ESD mat. What am I doing? Why did I do that? I wanted a nice background for uh, my videos instead of the, um, the green mat I'm using. But now I'm thinking that's not such a good idea. Crap. Anyway, these are, let me see. 
Well, I recognize this. Um, it says, oh, well, you can't see that. It's not focusing. Let me get it out. Yeah, I knew this looked familiar. It says GI271, which is the HMC, or is it the QMC, 5883L magnetometer. I ordered a few and this looks very similar to the one I already have on the breadboard. So I'm thinking this is also the QMC 5883L. The other one I don't recognize. So let me open that. What is this? It's a breakout board and Is that a photo transistor? I have no idea. I have to look this up. So apparently I ordered a laser receiver module. I can't remember why I did that, but I do have a laser here. It's one of these small flashlight lasers. And maybe I'll have a play with this and see if it actually works. But I still don't know what this thing is. Oh wait, there's some labeling on there. I could use that for Google. It says, don't know if you can see that. It says DS1, these eights, DS18820. All right, back to Google. All right, Google was no help there. Um, I did Google the uh, DS18820, which apparently was a DH18B20, um, but I got some temperature sensors back and uh, they look nothing like this. So I guess I'll have to do some experimentation. That should be fun. Next one, diagonal pliers. I have a strong suspicion of what this is. And I've been waiting for this. These are two side cutters, which are pretty well wrapped. These are two of these Plato, probably copies, definitely copies. Um, 170 pliers, model 170 pliers, and uh, these are these side or flush cutters. And let me grab my old one, which are these, and I really like them. They, they cut just fine and uh, make really nice cuts. But the thing is, I don't know if you can see that, over there, I cut something that was a bit too hard for these pliers and now there's a little hole there which always seems to line up just with what I want to cut so it doesn't really cut so I ordered some new ones let's keep this aside they look just fine should cut nice and the last one for today a surprise And these are a few reels of, what are they? These are resistors and I have to go look up the listing because there's no values written on it anywhere. So I have no idea. I can of course take one out and look at it in detail, but we've all seen resistors. So I'll figure that out later. And these are today's postback items. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more, like if you do, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.